we have about one third of our attendees who are representatives from 37 countries, including the United States, Japan, Canada, Taiwan, and New Zealand. About one third of our attendees come from across 47 states and territories, including Washington, Colorado, New York, Texas, Oregon, Massachusetts, and Maryland. And then the final third of our attendees roughly come from the state of California. We've designed our session today to serve as a case study and share some lessons learned to those of you from the other regions and states and countries that you can take home when advocating for and implementing seismic mitigation measures. When people emotionally respond to earthquakes, they're afraid of dying. It's all about life safety, it's about response in that moment. But of course, we're almost certain to live through this event, thanks to a lot of the work of you people. But what is at risk is our economic viability. How many people could keep on going to work? How bad is it going to be so that people give up and leaving? Continuing and uh, developing collaboration, not only between government officials, building officials, scientists and engineers, I think speaks for this year's theme of collaborating uh, science, engineering and policy. And I think beyond this conference, I think that is absolutely necessary to happen in order for resilience and safety overall uh, to continue. I'm here to actually celebrate all of you because the kind of work that you do, all of you, the structural engineers, the geotechnicals, all of the policy makers. So I want to celebrate. And of course, in order to celebrate, you know, you need fireworks. You need sparkles and lights. There we go. All right. You ain't seen nothing yet. Wait till Thursday night. Superstars of our profession, Ray Clough and Ed Wilson. Ray is the person that originated the finite element method, and Ed Wilson took that technology and made it available to all of us and changed the course of engineering analysis forever. In 1952, when I was 21, I walked onto the Berkeley campus and met Ray Clough, who was my undergraduate advisor. He asked me to develop an automated finite element program. Ray is a superhuman being and taught me everything that I know. I want to extend a special welcome to all of the students that are here tonight. You are the future of our profession. EERI changed my life. It truly made a career difference for me. And my goal is to do nothing more than impart that and have that same opportunity for students and young members. The biggest
biggest lesson that earthquakes teach us is that earthquakes have no respect, no respect for international boundaries or all of these national lines that we have created all across our beautiful planet to divide people. When an earthquake rolls in from Mexico into the United States, it does not stop at the border to have its visa checked. It just rolls right in and tears down all the structures and the walls that it does not like. Something to learn from. We're all in this together, we are one people.